Okay, here we are, uh, September 16th, about 9.30, 10 o'clock in the morning, getting ready to go out. Wow, what a beautiful place. Yeah, this would be a nice day for top water lure, I yeah, think. Yeah, that's what I was going to do. All right, I'll let you get in, I'll push you off. All right, well, let's, yeah, let's, let's pray right. before we go. Let's do that. Okay. Thank you God for this day. Thank you that we can go fishing today with Michael Chesney. Hopefully that we catch a nice fish and she's standing there. Alright. Yeah. Right. Water popping frog. Got it. Because it's like glass calm and these fish in this lake love to eat top water frogs for some reason. I'm actually gonna try to catch a crappie. What kind of rod are you using? I got a fish on. Oh, I, the camera can't pick that up. What's that? I got a fish on. But this is a spinning rod that I'm using right now. That's a bass. This is a spinning rod that allows you to use light lures. And you can't fish light lures on a bait casting rod, which are the other ones that I have. That's weird. Usually I don't catch bass on um, crappie little hair jigs, but I got one on it. This is called a largemouth bass. Look how fat that one is. Mm. That is really strange. No. He's been eating a lot of food lately. Or maybe having babies. Yeah, I mean, well, usually in the spring they do that, but hmm. in Florida they do it all year round. He ruined my jig, but that's why I caught it on. Trying to catch a crappie. Let's get a cool release on it. I was giving you that last flick. That was... <laughs> that was a little, uh, a little crazy. I'm going to push this jig for a few more minutes and then try to catch a bass on top of a frog. So that, hold that one up, please. It's, what a little, kind? it's a little ripped, but... Uh, what kind of jig is it? It's like a hair jig. I should catch a fish right here on these sticks. Like I normally do, so if you want to start recording. I'm going to try to catch a bass on the... Um, Wacky rig because this spot right here I usually catch a bass or two. Okay, what kind of okay? Could you speak up on this one? What kind of a uh, rod and uh, lure are you using here? I'm about to use a wacky rig Sanko, so a five inch blue Sanko because the water's still a little bit muddy. And where are we fishing? We're about to, is that cool? This is a uh, beaver dam right in front of here. I don't know if you can see it up there, but there's a beaver dam. Usually there's a fish sitting near because there's a lot of sticks underneath the water. Bass like to chill on. That one. It's a baby. It's a Second one of the day on the Senko. I knew I'd catch one over there near those sticks. I usually do. It's a nice little fish. Let's keep going with the Senko. And then after catch a few more on the Senko, we're gonna move over to something like a Texas rig or a frog. Try to catch a bigger fish. Usually in fish Senkos like this, you catch small fish. Two in a row. Same size. Oops. Yeah, same fish. <laughs> yeah, same fish. 
He was hungry again. <laughs> Ooh. I think he's counting you throwing something real. Ouch. He said it's not shut up. Shaking. Little one. See if there's three in there. That's what happens when you fish a Sanko. You catch small fish. I'm gonna catch a couple more and then uh, we'll be done with the Sanko. What are all the signs you look for uh, to indicate the presence of fish? Uh, bass like to hide near cover, like sticks. Like behind us is a beaver dam with tons of sticks. Maybe But I think bad for for that. It's, you know, it's, it's 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 ten or twenty people. To read it, I think that's pretty good. So, we have a large mouth. Yeah, I'm still trying to catch a crappie on this jig. I'll switch up to the white and pink, and I'm still catching a large mouth, which is fine. Well, you had mentioned there might be crappie in. Fish on. Is it a crappie or a bass? That's a crappie. That's what we're after, folks. Black crappie. It's a decently sized one, too. Nice. There we go. Yep, there he goes. When they got poached in the gill, they start bleeding a little, but Nine times out of ten, the fish survives. Okay. Do you see yourself collecting and owning at one time? Yeah. That many fishing rods? Got one. Ouch. So I'll switch up to the speed craw and end up catching a small bass. Um, it's nothing big, but. It's a good sign that you finally got a bite on the craw. Was this your first bite on the speed craw? Yeah. Ever? No. It's one of my favorite baits. I use a lot. A little largemouth bass. Very good. Oh, the fish just jumped right there. Get back in there. So let's see now. It's 11.17. We've been out about an hour and a quarter. A lot of times they didn't have a title. But the writers have a Cheers was a TV show, and and when they made the TV show, and that was one of the most successful TV shows of the 80s, ran for 11 years, had some changes in the cast, most of the people stayed the same, but there were a few changes and additions to the cast, and you followed a storyline in all these characters' lives. give the episode a title. Ooh, what do we have here? Another bass. Oh, and the crappie jig. I guess this isn't much of a crappie jig anymore. It's more of a bass jig, but it's cool. Now, why do you call it a crappie jig? I think that's what they're designed for, and that's what I usually catch them on. So, Decent largemouth bass. So, what could you say about the difference between a bass jig and a crappy jig? The size and the colors. And a bass jig is made of a rubber skirt. This is more of a hair skirt. I wouldn't take it personal that he waves like that. I think he just wants to. He's just trying to avoid danger. Yeah. You know, it's not like. He just, yeah. If I was, if I was caught, I'd, I'd bite and splash. In fact, he's lighter. He's about 40 pounds lighter. And he, uh, 
he beat the guy in the tournament. And the big guy was so frustrated that he broke the rules. He, he when, when the match was over, oh, look at that. What do you call that beat again? Sen uh, Senko. caught about a dozen fish today, maybe more. Yeah, nothing really big, but I fished the frog in the Texas really ground the entire lake. I only caught one little fish, so, and also a little jig, a little bit, but. The only thing that they're biting today is his blue Senko. Everything he does is dancing. When he walks, he's, he floats. Everything he does is flo he floats. Seems like whenever we go near this beaver dam, we catch more little fish. So I was just trolling the spoon really slowly behind the boat. My GoPro died about 10 seconds ago. And uh, we come to this fish. I think it's a crappie. Yeah, it's a crappie. A big crappie. Look at the size of that thing. Hmm. It's a pretty large size crappie. It's not that big, but it's definitely close to a pound. Nice. Fish right there. Hmm. So there it go. Yep. Oh. They always do that. Oh, he gets the prize. Yeah, he gets the prize of the day. <laughs> the bass earlier was a little angry, but he... This guy, really. Yeah, he's an outgoing sort. I was just trolling this little this spoon. Oh, yeah. Got it. So we have about two minutes left to fish, I think. Until we get picked up by the truck. And I'm going to try to catch one more fish for you. All right, so that's going to be it for this video. Hopefully you enjoyed. This time I have a cameraman, which is pretty awesome. We ended up catching probably a dozen fish, both bass and crappie. Two crappie, a bunch of bass. Nothing big, but it was still a good day.